Welcome back to Vintage Story 1.18. I'm on pre-8 and I have an oar over my shoulder. <laughs> Why have I got an oar over my shoulder? Basically, I have managed to place the bug mat. Thank you very much, Dan, for showing me how beautiful this bug net looks. I had pressed Control and Shift together, but I hadn't managed to get it correctly aligned, so I wasn't actually uh, managing to place it, but it does place if you use Control plus Shift together. Fat fingers were not doing their best there. Now I've tried placing an oar, which doesn't place. I've tried placing the ink and quill, which doesn't place. I've tried placing the wooden tongs that doesn't place. Now, the other thing to try, of course, it's very ghostly, this bud net, is whether I can place these in a tool rack, no to the bug net, no to the oar. I don't think the quill and pen would go there, and no to that. So basically, the only one I can place with confidence on the floor is my new favorite block, the bug net. Right, but that's okay. The others will come. This is early days yet. We are still on the pre-versions. Now, Perlin Fall, thank you very much for introducing me to a mystery. Look at this, guys. A night vision mask. And there is a recipe for it. We are going to be able to make this. We have metal parts already. Gold ingots, lead ingots, copper ingots. Do we have a night vision lens? We have a Jonas piece which is finely balanced oscillator and a temporal alignment node. This looks to be work in progress. And judging by this mask, it looks as if it's going to be fueled by temporal gears. This temporal alignment mode, a night vision lens and a Base return teleporter. Attack range 3M. Do we fire it at something and it returns us to base? Fascinating. So there's an alignment pylon. And look, we've got more Jonas parts here. A reductive interval pylon. Good grief. More Jonas parts. I can only assume that this is work in progress, because I don't know what a Jonas part is. Let's go back to the overview. We've got all sorts of things. Assembly, yeah, we've done that. Okay. So there's this whole section, not the Nightmare Drifter, but these four look extraordinary. And I want to look at what a Jonas part is. Oh, is there someone called Jonas? Flax gap connector, dual valence emitters, temporal alignment nodes, parallel transfer vessel, inverted refraction cylinders, alternate injection valves, consummately crafted gearbox, eccentric gearbox, finely balanced oscillator, intricately wound spring, a ruined Jonas lamp. Now there are ruined things here and these all look, these are the lamps. Can we make them? No. They are the lamps that are in the resonance archive. So that looks quite fascinating. I wonder whether these are some of the clutter blocks that we may find in the resonance archive because none of these look as if they can actually be made uh, we're just getting back to parallel transfer vessels yeah we're just going around in circles here i think it's fair to say that we really do need to explore a little bit more about these blocks. I've looked through the notes 
on the pre-releases and I can't find much about this. But what did occur to me, I found a reference to, in creative mode, the clutter blocks having their own sort of section. So I, I have never switched between game modes so much as I have for these pre-releases. Let's go to creative. Oh, here we are, look, it's on the left, clutter. Oh my word. Now, do we have these pieces under clutter? Broken anvils, barricades, book stands. This is the one I covered, the metal barrel that's empty. I'm looking to see, oh my word. Guys, you've gone mad, you've gone mad. Look at this, gorgeous. Oh my word, I want that metal tank. I want, I want, I am coveting this lot. We need to get these in the game. What's that? Sun banners, inactive locus nest. I don't want that. Unless I can put a light in it. Ooh. Oh, that's the coffins, yeah. Coat racks. Now, the lights are here. Oh, look, Jonas lamps. Jonas. We're coming into the Jonas section, I think. Have we got these odd blocks? We've got Jonas lamps. Um, oh my word. So much stuff. Hydraulic actuators. Group of four levers, nice. Massive bronze gearbox. These must be the ruined um, things that you can find, liquid pumps, power shaft flanges, yeah, wow. I'm gonna have to study engineering for this lot. Right, can I get to the night mask? Is it, let's go to everything. Try again. Ah! The night vision mask. Emitters, vision lenses. Now these do not described as Jonas blocks here. Can I download one of this? Ooh. Now let's have a look at tele, here we go. This one, base return teleporter. Okay, so what do, what, what do these do? All right. Dare I fire it? Well, I don't want to fire it at something and find I return half my wall to my base. Let's go, uh, let's go outside the base just to be sure about this. And let's fire it at grass. Oh my word. This is like the return scepter in Stardew Valley. You right click on it and it takes you back to your base. Fantastic. Now, if we can make these, that's going to be wonderful. So what does the night vision mask do? Let's just see if I can do that. Yeah, let's just move that away. Okay, now where would this go? Would it go on here. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh. Do I emit a glow? I do. I'm a glow worm. <laughs> I am a glow worm. I've got the two little antennae that many insects have and presumably the big grey things are the eyes. Oh my word, I've got a glowworm mask. Oh, fantastic. I need to find somewhere underground. Um, that's not hard. Uh, I'm in creative, so I can actually use that. Let's, let's use our teleporters. I don't know if they even work in creative. I really don't play in creative very much, and I, this, the one thing about this release 
has been to force me to use this. So, and let's go to yeah, here. Okay. Oh my word. Oh wow. So if I go through here into the darkness, because this place is not lit up, I've got borax here too. Wow. I've got lots of borax here. I didn't realise that. Oh my word. I am in creative. Look at this, guys. I want this mask. I have been agitating for something that will enable me to see in the dark so that I don't, you know, particularly not being able to put a lantern in the offhand. And look at this. Oh, wow. Gosh. Oh my goodness. These are deep drifters, aren't they? Yeah. Can I find my way back now? It's past the borax. Is that borax? Yes. Yeah, we are. The borax at the moment is being used. Oh my word. And I presume that the oars. It's borax again. Wow, I'm going to stand out very, very strongly here. Goodness me. Yeah, there's our teleporter. All right, let me replace the blocks I've missed. Goodness gracious. Well. My word. I love the idea of a glowworm mask. I've been agitating for things like minus helmets or a headband with a light on, but this is fantastic. Now, will we, it looks as if we will be able to make this because there's a recipe for it. Let me just uh, take this off for a minute. Wow. And let me return to game mode, create, uh, survival. Okay, and it's still there. I, I would presume it will work in survival as well. Goodness gracious. Um, I think I'll put that in there. Well, we know what those two do now. But the big question is, will we be able to craft these blocks from parts that we make? Will we be able to find clutter blocks to make them? Do we have to go on a huge clutter block hunt, that's difficult to say, in order to make these things? Because that would be a wonderful separate treasure hunt. I am very much hoping that these are not just found in the um, story dungeon. It would be very devastating if you can only get these in the story dungeon. It would be really nice to be able to find odd clutter blocks everywhere you go and go on clutter block hunts uh, in sort of underground rooms and teleporter rooms so that you can make these two items. Uh, that is something that would really motivate me to go on a hunt. Inevitably, of course, it's going to be dangerous getting underground to get these. By the time you've got the requisite kit to go underground, probably to the depths you'd have to go, <laughs> you wouldn't need the night vision goggles anyway. But I am fascinated by this. If any of you know more about this, do let me know. And in the meantime, goodbye from your friendly glowworm. Leave a like if you like this video. Bye bye.